So with the helmets, just about every helmet has little strips, little pads inside them. And uh, there's just little Velcro pieces that pop off. Um, so I can like take all these little inserts here off. And then those are easy to wash. They can be washed by hand, no problem. I found that my wrist pads actually get the dirtiest. I tried doing what some people suggested, you know, let them sit out and dry, spray them with some uh, some disinfectant spray, and then they should be okay. Uh, that did not work for me. And I actually took these and washed them with a regular hand soap, and um, that didn't work too well either. So, um, just good old fashioned laundry detergent seems to do a better trick. <laughs> and what I do is just get a five gallon bucket, and I'm very generous with this stuff. I use about this much laundry detergent. I use cold water of course and I let this sucker soak in there for about 30 minutes and then after that I'll scrub it all down real good and then rinse it thoroughly with cold water <coughs> and then um, I try to open it up somewhere let it drain and as far as drying them I wouldn't recommend sticking them in the dryer because it's going to mess this stuff up um, so what I do is just let it air dry as much as possible and then I take a blow dryer to it if I have to or stick it in front of a fan opened up and that seems to dry these guys out. The 187 pads, uh, they make some new ones where the uh, cap here pops off so you can wash everything underneath it and replace it when this stuff goes bad and I think that's a good idea that might be what I get next because like you start to slide on these enough and eventually that's just going to pop off but <clears throat> um, these are a little bit tougher because you got this cushion in here and of course you know you're, if you're sweating I like to wear pants and so it makes me sweat even more um, so you really need to get the water to absorb into the cushion and everything too in order to get the smell out so same thing with the wrist guards I do with these and the elbow pads let them sit in a bucket with the laundry detergent for about 30 minutes with cold water and then uh, give them a good rinse and let them air dry as much as possible and then if I have to take a hair dryer to it and um, I know a lot of people put these in the washing machine uh, I just uh, I, I would prefer not to put them in a washing machine uh, that might work well I uh, don't know anybody that's had issues with it but um, I've washed several things in, in the washing machine that we have and it's got snagged on stuff and it's tore up and you know these weren't the cheapest pads in the world so I want them to last so I'd rather do it by him I don't want to pop back up. Leave it sitting in there long enough. Washing my knee pads and shoulder pads and elbow pads and stuff.
you can clearly see how dirty this water gets. I wore these pads, I don't know, maybe two or three sessions, two or three hours each session. It's getting pretty uh, warm outside now. And the pollen is everywhere too, so it's it's not just a matter of you sweating. It's you know, you get out there in the in the pollen and the dirt and you're sliding around all, all that stuff. It gets pretty nasty. Now, of course, I actually don't have a very good place to dry these out. Um, sometimes I set them on the dash in my car on a hot day. That really helps. Uh, you can also just set them on top of your car. I secure them with my windshield wiper blade, but whatever works for you. But this is how I do it. Thank you guys for watching.